Thank you so much for watching Journal of the Scots with a Star Wars review. And it's none other than Luke's land speeder, which we've never gotten any Luke's land speeders. No, actually, there's plenty of them that have been over the years. Just about every year, there is a different variant of Luke's land speeder. In this one, uh, I actually made a purchase in store. It was probably right around my third or fourth in store purchase. I had purchased um, you know, the um, Bounty Hunters Battle Pack the uh, frozen and carbonite uh, scene um, and maybe a, maybe a micro fighter here or there otherwise this one was like wow i don't have luke's land speeder and it has such a great figure selection which really is uh make this set makes this set i think one of the better values uh out there for the land speeder line um originally this was $20 came out in 2017 so right as I was emerging from my dark ages and uh and did discontinue um after yeah like basically a full two years of being in market so December 2018 it was gone and then of course <laughs> not too long Lego couldn't be out more than a year when they released the 2020 um luke's current luke's land speeder which is fairly similar there's some changes here they also added a side scene so it is slightly different i think they went with the jawa instead of the um some of the other figures so getting into it these figures are not all that rare um you know starting out with classic c3po with the colorful wires um really nice figure not you know extremely exclusive he is in like i don't know something right around 11 sets somewhere in that uh, that ballpark so a ton of different sets just normal value for a star wars figure in that four dollar range uh you know three to four bucks and then you know of course you have to contribute to your luke skywalker there we go is it zen army Let's see if he's got oh sad luke I lost, I lost my mommy. But uh, yes, yeah, so this this uh, of course is the New Hope land speeder. But you know this did show up in Attack of the Clones, so you know he may have ridden in the original ride that Anakin <laughs> went off and killed. But oh, well, he actually used the speeder for that one. So never mind, I'm wrong. All right, so moving on, the Obi Wan. Kenobi and this is a really nice figure I think yes it didn't he didn't come with a hood oh look at that He's so good looking this this hair piece really solid no back so just a nice little hair piece there just a really appropriate um didn't have the hood which I think future versions of Obi-Wan Kenobi do have the hood um, I will say that, um, you know, and here's the, oh, I just should have shown the back. It goes nothing too special, so it's a dark, dark hooded. Um, you know, he's he's pretty, this is a fairly in-demand figure. I mean, he's commanding anywhere from like 5 to $7. So, you know, you really look at it, you know, 4 4 um, let's just say 6 you know, that's $14. And then, of course, we can't. Forget about our friend, the Tuscan Raider with head spikes, and he's got the cross belt. He's only been in three sets, so I think he was in this one, the T16 Skyhopper, and then the Tatooine Battle Pack, uh, which was released not too long, similar era. But uh, he's going for around four bucks too. So even if you look at the value of just the figures themselves and sold them off individually, this set basically paid for itself. So really a nice overall set going you know new on the market 25 bucks it's again that you know this particular build is not in super desire although i would say these you know this uh, medium nugget and the dark red is all very desirable um these are all very unique pieces it just looks really good uh, i do appreciate too inside the cockpit 
it's got the uh, it's a sticker it's kind of an actual uh, steering wheel there's a little bit of dust on this thing because it's been on the shelf for about four or five years um, the other nice feature of it there you go you can hide your lightsabers in there so there is a back compartment that presses down probably the only thing that is a bummer that these kind of tend to pop off but for a display this is pretty nice this is how it looks from the back from the side and again the, this is a fairly unique technique basically putting in these uh, these flat corner pieces kind of holding this in place so that's kind of a cool look so I thought the designers did a really good job overall with this design so that's it for Luke's land speeder it's the 2000 and 17 set number 75173 and I'm really pumped this one's gonna fit nice we'll see I mean of course it's not era appropriate for my cantina mock that's coming up um, well you could say it is cantina appropriate uh, however the cantina I'm setting up is going to be in the Mandalorian um, you know era so post fall of the Galactic Empire but it should be fun to at least have this style of speeder, which is very commonplace. I actually wish it was a little bit smaller. Uh, amazingly, this thing, this set's only 149 pieces because these things are so, these pieces are so big. So there's really not much to it. A lot of really big, unique pieces. So again, I think that adds to the value. But either way, thank you so much for watching. We will catch you on the next Star Wars review. May the force be with you.